Well, I absolutely adore you. I think you're brilliant and inspiring. And for those of you who uh, are not familiar with him, you should be. But explain to people who and what you, what you do. <laughs> I'm the founder and spiritual director of the Agape International Spiritual Center. We're in our 35th year of, of service. We're probably the most uh, diverse and inclusive spiritual communities that seek to bring people to a greater understanding of who they are spiritually so that that cascades through their entire life. So it's a whole way of living, uh, with spiritual practice. It's, it's spirituality, not religiosity. So everyone's invited, everyone comes. When you walk into Agape, well, during the days when we could walk into Agape, um, it's like walking into a spiritual United Nations. Yes. Because everybody's there. And so how, how do you, what's a simple way, uh, there's a lot to say, but, but what would you say to people who want to better their lives? They're not happy with where they are right now. Well, basically, every being has a destiny loaded and coded within them. We've heard the statement, uh, people want their dreams to come true. Well, you have to come true to yourself to have your dream come true. Now, what I see, people suffer from what I call an intention deficit disorder. Not attention. Not attention. They don't have an intention. So they move through life simply reacting to circumstances and situations. But if one establishes an intention, then through universal law, that intention is matched. Opportunities open, possibilities happen. You see life differently. You're able to catch uh, not only vision, but you're able to catch wisdom from your soul because so many people are listening to so many voices in their head, they're listening to so many external authorities, but within each being, there's a destiny trying to emerge, every being. So, and you talk about a vibration because we all have this, this electricity yeah. in us. We're all, you know, really just a vibration. So explain the, the power of intention and manifestation. You want true manifestation. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, first of all, we're vibrational beings. We're not just flesh and blood. I mean, now science is caught up with spirituality, so you can actually measure people's fields. You can measure people's uh, brain coherence. You can measure the frequency of the auric field. So we're vibrational beings. So the spiritual work that we do, affirmative prayer, meditation, like visioning, chanting, dancing, all, all the things you do, lift our vibration. And true manifestation, now, you, you've seen me in The Secret, we were talking about visualization and manifestation. True manifestation is when you're actually becoming the next great vision and version of yourself. And there's not a person here that can't practice that or can't come more into their own. I think that because the where we are in the world right now with, with so much going on, COVID kind of started right. it, and the, there's just a lot going on, and I think more people are struggling with depression, anxiety, that, that kind of, we need to break through that. So how do we ignore all the negativity, all the things that we're seeing? How can people cope with what's going on in the world? Right, it's not a matter of ignoring it. It's a matter of uh, having dominion over your attention. So what we want is a sense of peace. We want a sense of well-being. We want a sense of safety. We want a sense of security. So what I ask, ask people to do is, you think about a moment in your life where you felt secure, you felt that all of your needs were met, you felt safe, and you had a degree of peace. You just think about that moment, and you breathe into it, close your eyes, and just feel into that, and then take your next step from that feeling. And then you check in every hour on the hour, take a breath, come back to that state. And what happens is the tonic chemicals start to flow through your body temple rather than toxic chemicals. So if in fact you take your life into your own hands and begin to stop on a regular basis, immune system is enhanced, body comes into a level of homeostasis and you start to hear guidance, but it's not coming from the news. It's coming from your soul. And then that sense of peace, you carry it with you throughout the course of your day. Now most people, or I shouldn't say most people, but many people are getting their viewpoint of reality from news feeds. No, that's the old, that's not the news. That's the same thing happening every day to people. There's something trying to emerge through us. 
but we have to give it an availability through spiritual practice. It's on us. It's really hard unless you have uh, evidence of it, because I do. I, I have I've had I've set intentions and things have happened in my life, and I know it's because I set intentions. And, and so I, I, I see it happening. But for people out there going, you know, that's easy for you to say, or, or I don't have any money and I'm in a bad situation, or, but how do you convince people that you really can have these power through your thoughts? Absolutely. I've been teaching for over 40 years, and I've seen individuals totally debilitated physically, financially, relationship-wise, and literally allow themselves to grow into a new version of themselves. Now, what happens is people get comfortable living at what I call a set point. They, that, that's their comfort zone. They're afraid to go beyond it. But when you begin to establish intention, you back that intention up with s speaking about yourself in a very affirmative way, falling in love with yourself, you know, exactly where you are right now, not comparing yourself to anyone else. You become available to insight. That is, an insight is an event that takes place in your awareness where you suddenly or incrementally become aware of something that you may have formerly believed, but now you know it. But it doesn't just happen. It happens just. It happens when you practice. But what I want people to understand is regardless of how bad it is, that spot right there is their beginning. It's not the end, it's a beginning. And if they begin to just first see the, the a, a best case scenario, what if the, this best thing happened, name it, whatever it is. Now the moment that happens, your cells in your body and your subjective mind does not know the difference between something that's actually happened or if it's in your mind and your emotional body. So when you begin to take that on, you start to act differently. You start to speak differently. You start to walk differently. And then what happens? The universal presence through its law matches that vibration and things begin to change in your life. But you're not just gonna, you can't just sit around and do nothing. You can't, you can't um, ask what I call futile questions. What's wrong? Who's to blame? And why me? Those are futile questions. You have to ask, what is it within me that's trying to emerge right now? What gift do I have to give to the world? Who do I want to be when this crisis is over? Now, if you ask those questions, the universe will answer them in a language and in a way you can understand, and then you'll walk in that direction. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's so true. It's yeah. so true. Um, go to our website to learn more about Dr. Michael Beckwith, and uh, you can register. He's, he's doing a course uh, called The Activated Life, which uh, I highly recommend. I mean, this, this guy is, you can hear just talking, just listening to him. He's just, um, you're a beautiful man. Mm.